Hey, Tommy Hodges here with DigitalMediaTutorials.com. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to give yourself a suntan. Don't you hate it when your friends go off to Cancun, Bahamas, Hawaii, and they got this nice tan, and all of your photographs, you're looking really pasty white. Worry no more. In this part, I will show you how to give yourself a suntan, and then in part six, I'll show you how to change your eye color, and in part seven, I'll show you how to use the healing brush tool and the, the stamp tool in order to help give yourself maybe a simple makeover. Okay, the first thing you want to do is find the scariest photo you can find, and let's get started. On the right-hand side, look at your layers palette. Notice this layer is locked, so that means uh, you can't really do anything with it. Double click on the layer to unlock it, but before you hit OK, let's go ahead and label it. I'm going to call it original. It's always smart to be organized and label your layers. Okay, this one's original. Let's duplicate it. Right click, duplicate the layer. We're going to call this one after. Now let's go ahead and start off with the suntan. At the very bottom of the page, you want to click on your adjustment layers and you want to click on solid color. We want to pick a nice solid color for our suntan. I'm going to go with Pantone 1565C. And by the way, how do you get here? Instead of this look, click on your color libraries, and there you go. I'm under Pantone Solid Coated, by the way. Hit OK. OK, it filled the composition all the way up, so I can't see my image. Over here, uh, in order to see my image, all I'm going to do is click the opacity and drag it down a bit. Now I can see my image. What I want to do is tell Photoshop to leave the new color on everything except for the areas that I don't want to get tanned. So in order to do that, we have to mask those areas out. Look at your uh, color fill layer here. This allows you to change the color if you wanted to. See that? And this is your layer mask thumbnail. Just like a mask at Halloween. When you're wearing it, no one can see you. When you take it off, everybody can see you. Right now, the mask is solid white, which means that everyone can see this solid uh, color here. But in this case, I don't want to see, I don't want this solid color to cover up everything. So in order to mask out certain portions of this, you want to paint with black. So I'm going to grab the, my paintbrush, switch to black. Notice when I paint with black, I can see through the color fill layer. So I painted with black here, and I can now I can see the black. There it is, it's showing here, and that represents this. So when I'm painting, I'm seeing through or masking out portions of this color fill layer. Now if I switch to white and paint, it's going to bring it back. So remember this. Black is what you're not going to see. White is what you're going to see. And always make sure when you're doing this that you have your opacity at 100% and your flow at 100%. Let's say your opacity is at 50. And you're painting with black. You're like, it's not going away. It's not completely going away. So if you change your opacity to 100%, then it'll completely go away. Okay, click on your color fill layer. Let's drag the opacity down so we can kind of see through the layer. Click on your layer mask thumbnail. Make sure black is your foreground color. Grab your paintbrush tool. And let's do a rough outline around the eyes. So we're masking out around the eyes. And anywhere else that you don't want to get a suntan. So I'm going to do the eyes and also the mouth. There you go. Next thing we want to do is, is, it, is make adjustments to this. I'm going to go up to the top of the page here, well, to the top of the layer anyway, and click on Soft Light. Now this will change the overall color of my photograph. See? If I had picked Hard Light, Vivid Light, you're going to get different results. Pen Light, I'm sticking with Soft Light. Next, I'm going to click on the Hue and Saturation Adjustment. And if I drag the lightness all the way down, notice it affects the entire composition. I don't want it to do that. Okay, I only want to drag. I only want to make the uh, solid color darker, not the entire photograph. 
So hit, hit OK. And now click on your hue and saturation layer, hold down the Alt key, and move your cursor in between your color fill layer and your hue and saturation layer, and watch what happens. See that little icon? That means that you want the hue and saturation to only control the color fill layer. Left click once. Notice this little arrow here is saying, listen, I'm only going to control this layer. That's what that means. Double click on your hue and saturation again by clicking on this little icon and drag your lightness down. Now I've given this person a suntan. We still have a few little places to clean up right here and around the eyes. Click on your color fill layers uh, layer mask thumbnail. If you double click by the way this is going to happen so just try not to do that. And remember uh, black is what we're not going to see, white is what we're going to see so we want to see the rest of this color around the lips. So we're going to switch to white and paint. And if you're confused, check it out. Maybe this helps. See? I'm painting this back in. And also, I also brought my opacity back up to 100%. Okay, this is a little too dark. So um, what I'm going to do is double click on the hue and saturation, drag the lightness up just a little bit. There you go. And there's your suntan. Now if you wanted to change the color of your suntan, you can just double click on your color fill here. And you can change the color of it to make it more intense. It's completely up to you. The darker you get it though, you're going to have to make adjustments to other things like your lips and that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. Okay, that's all the time I have for today. I'm Tommy Hodges and thanks for watching digitalmediatutorials.com. Check out part six where I show you how to change the, the color of your eyes by using adjustment layers and color fills. See you then.